Million Dollar Quartet is essentially a, a staged recreation of an actual event. At Sun Studios, December 4th, 1956, and what was a glorified jam session has become a story where you get to take a very intimate look into not only the lives of these four legends, but the beginning of rock and roll music and the man who gave this to the world, Sam Phillips. And they just sang a bunch of songs. They jammed the way musicians do. The show kind of goes off into everyone's individual story and you get to know a little bit about where they came from, um, the road that took them to Sun Records and brought them together, and then a little bit about where they're going in the future. And along the way, they just encountered uh, a lot of humor, a little hardship, and they made some pretty good music. It's kind of like a family where Sam's the dad and Johnny is the oldest son who's like breaking away and Carl's the second son who's sort of misunderstood and, you know, can't get a break. And uh, Elvis is the third son who's sort of the golden child that all the great stuff happens to. Of course, the baby is Jerry Lee, who's a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> that family dynamic always sort of made sense for me in this show. Down by the riverside, study, war no more. They're not even your standard musical theater audience members that are just so thoroughly entertained. And they walk away going, oh my gosh, that was so amazing. All over the United States, that interest is still there, you know, and it's, it's going to be very exciting. There's not very many shows like this that appeals to, to all walks of life and ages. And by the end of the night, they're all on their feet. They're all clapping. Some of them are dancing in the aisles, twisting, shaking, and having a great time. This show is kind of designed for that. You know, it's not really designed for people to sit there with their hands folded in their laps. It's very raw, and it's, it's very intimate, and, and you, you really get to see um, a, a really different side to each, each one of these, these people. I think this story is a story that will speak to you, and and encourage you and inspire you all at the same time. But no matter you know whether it's a busload of high school kids or a, a bus of senior citizens or a bunch of college kids on a Saturday night, by the end of the show, everyone's on their feet, everyone's clapping, everyone's having a good time. This great balls of fire.